In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Paper Digest to quickly use AI to summarize your research articles completely for free. So a couple weeks ago, I walked you through how to use ScholarC, and that is one software you can use that has a Chrome extension. I'll leave that video linked above. But today I want to walk you through Paper Digest, which is a little bit more of a simplified version of ScholarC, but I found that it's a little bit more accurate as well. So this is Paper Digest's main page. All you have to do is go to paperdigest.com with a hyphen between the two words, and you're going to be able to input in a DOI or a link to a PDF for a paper. Right now, without registering or signing up for Paper Digest at all, you can only access open source journals so or open source articles is the only thing you can access but you can register and you still don't have to pay anything for it but you can register and then you'll be able to actually upload pdfs from your main computer today i'm going to show you how to use just the doi search bar in order to get that digest so i'm going to do the exact same publication that i did for scholarcy which is my first publication so once you come to the main page for the publication, you want to find the DOI. And so this is where my DOI is right here. And so you just want to copy this entire link. So you can right click and hit copy or do control C. And then you're going to go over to paper digest and you're just going to paste it in and click digest. Once you've done that, it's going to give you this little digest here. And so it has the authors, it has the full length to the text, and then it has two main subjects, whereas Scholars has a bunch of different ones, two main subjects. So it's basically what is this paper about and what you can learn from this paper. So since I wrote this paper, like I can tell that it's actually bringing in my words from the paper, whereas Scholars was trying to rewrite what I was saying and then some of the things it was saying was actually wrong. So I like that this is actually bringing in just like the key points from the paper and it kind of gives you an idea of okay twins has to be calibrated. This paper reported CCS values in positive and negative mode. You can also see that metal adducted dimers enabled enhanced separation of steroid isomers. And then the accuracy of the calibration. So this is basically like knowing what this paper is about. This really does summarize pretty well what the different things were about. I think there's a little bit that is lacking, but it was lacking in both. And so one of the big things in this paper was looking at different metals. And neither of these are really picking up on that point. And it could just be that the way it was written, that there wasn't something for it to really pull from. So this lets us know what this paper was actually about. So the next thing we get to know is what are we going to learn from it? So not only what did they do, but what is adding to the field and things like that. So we know that we can learn CCS values from this. We also see that they were comparing yeses to DTEMS values. And ultimately, TWIMS has been shown useful in the separation and identification of steroid isomers. So I think this is okay. I really would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the results in here. This to me is just telling you what I can find in the paper. So at least this is a lot faster than reading through the paper to come to these conclusions. But I think it's a little bit lacking on what are the results that really happened in this paper. In fact, I think that was more done up here in what this paper is about than it was done in what you can learn from it. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm really big on making everything searchable. So if you're going to run this paper digest, you want to then make it searchable as well. So from here, I want to be able to take this text and not just be able to read it, but I'm going to put it in a place where it allows me to make my things more searchable. So in this case, I'm going to go to my Notion board. So here is my Notion literature organization um, template, and you can watch this video above to look into all the different features about it as well. 
But what I'm specifically going to do is actually add in a place where I can put in these paper digest clips. So I'm gonna open up just the dashboard by clicking right here. And this is going to take me in here. And this is just my tutorial version because mine is a lot more complicated, but this is just so that I can, you know, film these tutorials for you without making it complicated. So because I already added this paper in for ScholarC, you can see that I have the ScholarC synopsis in here. So what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna go all the way to the right and I'm going to add in a field. And so this is going to be what this paper is about. And I'm just gonna put in where I'm pulling this information from. So select add, okay. And then the other field we're gonna do is what you can learn. And we're gonna make that text as well. Apparently my first one did it add, so I'm just gonna add that in what this paper is about. All right, so now we have these two columns. So unlike ScholarC, you can't download this very well, but we can copy and paste it. So I can just copy this, and I'm gonna throw it in what this paper is about. Cool, and then I can copy this one and I'm gonna throw it in here. So now I have this to make it searchable. So if I search for directly calculated, it's words that are in here. So even just directly, there was nothing in that other paper to bring it up. And so you can now see that it's bringing up this paper that I just did the paper digest for. So this makes it searchable. You can also add it to your Zotero in the notes sections as well. This is just one way where you're able to pull that information and keep it in a way that you can just come if you're looking at the paper or if you wanna search by topic. So I will leave the link down for paper digest in the description down below. If you are trying to learn your field and you are struggling with what papers you should be reading, what papers are worth putting into Paper Digest, how do you build your new idea, I really recommend getting my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It's going to be in a link in the description below. It walks you through basically step-by-step -step how to do all of those things in four weeks giving you specific tasks for each week to accomplish. So if you don't know where to start with your research, I really recommend downloading that guide. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.